Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to load media. I know that it's been an issue for some of you guys and you guys have messaged me asking for tips. So I thought I'd do a quick video. So what I have here is a 15 inch wide piece of vinyl. I cut it down from a 24 inch to 15. Some rolls will automatically come in 15 inches and 15 inches will fit in your silhouette. It will only cut up to 12. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line up the edges right here and then on my control I'm going to use the arrow key until it gets down to load media. So once it loads media I'm going to hit enter and it's going to feed through. And this is where a lot of you guys have problems. Um, your vinyl is not in straight or it might be cut crooked so it shifts. So one of the things that you want to pay attention to is you want to make sure your rollers are at the widest point. This one never moves. This one will move. Um, there's actually two notches over here. So when you release the lever down, you can grab the silver part and the white part of your roller pinchers and just twist it and it will come out and slide over. So I'm going to put it on the furthest one. So that's usually at where your mat edge of your match lines up. I'm going to move it over to the very end and then I'm going to push my roller level up to lock it so now it's locked. Your vinyl is not going to shift. Once you've done that you're going to use your arrow key and you're going to feed your piece of vinyl through and you're going to keep an eye on the edges. You want to make sure that there's enough room on the edges that it doesn't crinkle on the sides and you want to make sure that it rolls straight. So just keep going until you get the length of where you want. Now you can see right here it's starting to pinch. So what you do is release the lever down, lift up just a little bit and shift your paper over, your vinyl over. See how it shifts? So you can move it over just a little bit and then push the level back up. So now you're going to continue to feed and again it's shifting so I know that it's lopsided somewhere. So I'm going to lift it up again and kind of shift it a little bit, lock it, and feed it through. So once you get towards the end, what you want to do is go backwards so that all the adjustments that you made didn't push one side too far over. So now I'm just going to go back and let the vinyl feed backwards out. all the way to the beginning. Just make sure it doesn't go past the um, cutting strip because once it goes past the cutting strip you're, you might have to reload it. So you can see that it didn't shift too much on either end. It's only going to cut within the 12 inch square so whatever's on the outside is really not going to matter whether you have a couple of um, centimeters or a quarter of an inch or whatever on this side or this side it's really not going to matter. You just want to make sure that when you feed it through it's not going to bunch on either end. It's feeding all the way through. And as long as your level is locked, your rollers are in place, your vinyl should not shift. Your rollers are always going to be on top of the vinyl. And as long as you have the roller on top of the vinyl and it's locked and you've made your adjustments on the side, it's not going to shift and it's going to cut straight through. If you have any questions, message me. Thanks.